Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome to today's video. So, um, this one is going to be a very common video that you see at the start of a year and it's just going to be how to start your YouTube channel in 2021 and I know the new year a lot of people have res resolutions of starting a YouTube channel and just really want to do it so here is my advice to you and my encouragement to go out and just do it and don't wait. So if you didn't watch my last video, I did dye my hair and it is now black. Um, also the lighting throughout this video will probably be changing because the sun is going down so I'm using the, like, the white setting on my strip lights um, to hope to get the best quality for you guys. So I have a list on my phone and I'm just going to be going through it and... Okay, so I want to talk about the basics of starting first. So, you need something to film on obviously this does not have to be like a camera it can be your iphone your ipad your freaking computer for all i care like as long as you have something to make your video on you also need something to edit on there are a lot of apps for phones and like computers that are for free on your iphone or ipad or macbook um you can use imovie um there's also final cut pro if you want to expand that for I think for students it's $1.99 um, I personally edit on Final Cut Pro just because I think that it lets me do a lot more and I prefer it there are also a lot of Adobe options but I know that they're pretty expensive as well I haven't really tried them out just because I'm not super good with that kind of stuff but like I said there are a bunch of free apps out there if you literally just look up editing software if you look on YouTube for like different editing softwares there are a bunch of videos out there sharing different editing softwares and I can actually try some out for you guys and like find some if you would like and I can make a video on that as well just let me know and I will be happy to do that next we have lighting um, lighting is very important to the quality of your video you can have like the crappiest camera and have good lighting and still have a good video or you can have the best camera and horrible lighting and a horrible video your lighting means literally so much so that means like you can literally sit in front of a window you can sit in front of a lamp that has like white light i feel like blue light or yellow light in videos like doesn't always make it look as good so i prefer white or you can buy a ring light there are a bunch of cheap options on amazon but there's also some expensive some more expensive ones as well i have a cheaper one i think i got it for around 20 to 30 dollars um i don't have it in my room with me i have it in like a little building that um i film in sometimes i haven't filmed in there in a while just because it's cold outside and i don't want to leave my house so yeah that is also an option and I personally like ring lights and there are a bunch of cheaper options for them as well you don't have to go for the expensive ones all the time you also need something to put your camera on something to prop it up so that you don't have to hold it all the time so you can get an actual tripod like I said there are a bunch of cheap options on Amazon Amazon is my go-to if you want to see a video on like camera equipment that I think are must-haves um, let me know again and I will do that but there are so many options on Amazon that are cheap. You can get some for iPhones and you can also just make your own makeshift tripod. Like sometimes I would set, I'll set my camera up on like multiple candles if I don't want to put it on a tripod or like books or something. Like there are so many things you can set your freaking camera up on just to punch out a good video. Now if you are filming on a camera, you're also going to need an SD card and some way that you can get the SD card footage into your computer or phone however you want to do that um there are like adapters like for the macbook i have they only have the USB-C um ports so you have to get like an adapter for the sd card to go into there um if you have a canon there's also an app where you can put it on your phone um like i said there are a lot of options for many different things there are so many options out there when it comes to creating youtube videos that is what i love about this platform is that there are so many different ways that you can be unique and do different things. As for setting up your channel, um, obviously you're going to create a channel. You want to have a very pretty um, channel banner. I'm actually in the process of changing mine because it doesn't quite fit all the way on an iPhone when you're looking at it because the setup does look different on every device. So I am currently in the process of changing my channel banner, but I'm not quite sure how I want it to look and I'm also kind of changing my aesthetic as well. We're getting there, I'm not quite sure 
where I'm going. You also want to have a good looking um, profile picture, something that looks professional, like you look like you have a channel. It could just be a really good selfie if you want it to be. I do believe that mine is just a selfie right now. Um, but, you know, you want it to look like you have a channel. So, like, if you comment on somebody's videos and they see, like, your little profile picture, they're like, oh, that person looks like they have a channel. And then, you know, maybe they'll click on it. Next, you're not going to get subscribers without a video. So, make your first video, upload it. doesn't matter what it was. My first video was literally just me being like, hey, I'm Victoria. I'm new out here. I just made my channel and, um, you know... Here's what you're probably going to be seeing from me. Now, while that video didn't blow up because it had no niche or anything to it, no, nothing searchable, it was my starting video. And it got me past, you know, the point. I just did it. And then I was able to start creating videos and getting more and more confident. And now here we are, almost at a thousand subscribers, which still blows my mind. Um, I'm a year and a half in. I grew a lot slower than a lot of other people did. But I also didn't know a lot about YouTube when I started. I just did it for fun, and I'm still doing it for fun, but I had no idea how to grow, and, you know, I didn't know what kind of videos to make. I was just kind of making whatever. And now that I know um, a bit more, and I have a bit of a platform, I'm able to ask you guys what you guys want to see, and um, I know what type of videos do well for my channel. So um, this video is not likely to do super well for me, but um, if it helps anybody, then that's enough for me. It doesn't have to do great. Um, usually my YouTube related videos don't go that well. Um, usually my lifestyle videos, which is my niche, um, those usually do a lot better. But for the sake of you guys that I know are watching this, I put a poll out on my Instagram sharing, you know, what video do you guys want to see first? And it was between a morning routine and this video, and this video got the most votes. So I'm making this video just to help the few people that I know that I can help. So as for growing now, um, first off, you want to have a social media platform. It's going to be very hard to grow if you are restricted to only YouTube. I personally have a TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and um, that's all like that's all separate from my personal ones, just for my YouTube channel, so that I can share my videos on other platforms and hopefully get more reach. Best to do that because you might grow faster on another platform than you do on YouTube and you might find other people and you can pull them in for your channel. I've personally been getting better um, about posting on my Instagram as well. I used to not be active at all but recently I have been more active and I've been gaining some subscribers and I've been gaining a lot more followers on Instagram as well. I'm finally getting like people being active on like polls and stuff on my stories where I can ask questions since I don't have the um, community tab yet. If you do have a Facebook, I would recommend joining Facebook groups. I have one of my own and I'm also an admin on another Facebook group and I will link those down below. But um, I think joining Facebook groups is so important. You can share your videos on there if you're in certain ones that allow that. Um, every group has different rules. I know in mine, um, the only rules that I have are like no sub for sub and no like just spamming your link on other people's posts when it's not asked for. You can ask for other people's links in your post and be like, hey, this is my video. Um, share your links down below and I'll check out your channels. Um, as long as like it's asked for, then you can share your link in the comments. But like you can share your new videos. I know I always do. Um, and then in several other groups. And that helps, especially if you do it in the first 24 hours. It helps you get that first reach and then if YouTube sees your video doing well starting off, then it'll start promoting it to more people. And I find that it really helps my videos. SEO research is so important. SEO is search engine optimization. And basically, YouTube is a giant search engine. It is powered by Google. Um, you want to make videos that are searchable. So things like how to grow your YouTube channel in 2021. Um, how to start a YouTube channel in 2021. My winter morning routine, my summer morning routine, um, my winter night routine, stuff like that that people are looking up. Or like, how to train a cat, how to litter box train a cat, how to do winged eyeliner, like stuff like that that people are searching. That is the best way to start off your channel. Now, a lot of people say don't do vlogs because nobody's searching about your life and nobody is super concerned about it if they don't know you and if you don't have a platform. 
but if you do want to do vlogs because i know i really enjoy doing vlogs i try to make the title as searchable as possible and i try to include stuff in there that people would search for um that is of course related to the vlog so if i'm vlogging about my day and say i'm going shopping i might share a few tips on how to find good discounts and so my title might be like how to find good discounts at the mall and it's just a vlog but i'm going to the mall and i'm sharing things that are useful to you guys you know and as your platform gets bigger more people will watch vlogs um i know like during quarantine productive day in my life videos were super super um popular and i got a little bit of traction off of those um not a whole lot but they were like a huge thing and they still kind of are but i know i took advantage of that trend and just went for it um watch videos like this one um of how to grow your channel that is how i learned a lot about youtube because like i said earlier i knew literally nothing about youtube when i started my channel and was making videos i knew like nothing nothing at all um so i watched a bunch of videos i found katherine manning who used to be the content bug she shared so many videos on how to grow on youtube and seo and how she got from zero to i think she's at 300,000 now i would recommend her channel there's also lots of other people that have shared their youtube growth tips and it's definitely something that i would recommend doing to learn how to grow share your channel with family and friends as hard as it seems and as scary as it is most people will be supportive of it especially if they're good friends um you'll figure out who like the fake friends and the real friends are through this like i one of my friends i didn't tell them about my channel when we became friends and they literally like one day were like tori why didn't you tell me you had a youtube channel why did i have to find it on instagram and i was like i don't talk about it a lot because i get bullied for it and they were literally like I, excuse me and so they're so supportive um but you'll find out who your real friends are through this and it is it's definitely worth it and i highly recommend um letting your friends and family know and it'll help you get your first few subscribers as well be active on everything on all your social medias on your youtube channel be consistent post often post on a schedule like i post every single wednesday um sometimes it's thursday is depending on depending on how the week's going when i was in quarantine and over summer i posted on wednesdays and sundays um but during school i only posted on wednesdays it really just depends on your schedule but post consistently and post on a schedule i always post at 12 p.m on wednesdays whenever um you know things are going okay sometimes i do get really stressed with school and don't have enough time just be as consistent as possible and lastly just be patient um the subscribers don't always come rolling in fast for some people they blow up immediately for some like me they take a year and a half to even reach a thousand subscribers um it took me almost a year to hit a hundred and then for a while i was gaining like a hundred subscribers a month and then i kind of plateaued but it was because i wasn't being as active and now that i'm more active and consistent and posting on a schedule again i am growing even more so for some people it does take longer and for some you blow up fast it really just depends on if you're lucky or not and i think it's really important to just be patient stay consistent stay positive and just keep going all right guys that is all that i have for this video if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and um subscribe down below i post videos every wednesday at 12 p.m central time like i said and um yeah i will see you guys in the next video